Hi guys, kumusta kayo? I'm Reward and welcome to my channel. For more videos and uploads, just click subscribe and hit the notification bell. And for our first topic for today, alam nyo na, kita ang kita nyo na nasa title ng video na to. I am making this video for those who want to read but they are not bookworm. Sila yung gusto nilang uh, gusto nilang magbasa pero hindi nila nakikita yung sarili nilang nagbabasa. Parang ganun. So, hindi ko alam. So, maybe you're like me that the first place you're not a bookworm uh, sila magbasa. And how to make a habit of reading na hindi ka naman bookworm. Ganun. So, bahala na kayo. Intindihin nyo na lang. So, syempre, nag-research ako. So, ang dami-daming lumabas, may mga suggestions na libro para sa mga tao na gustong maghanap. Ano ba yung unahin nilang libro? Ano ba yung gusto nilang or madaling gawing uh, pagtuunan? Or ano ba yung gusto nilang mga genre ng libro para pag-umpisahan na basahin? So, but this is for me personally na naging effective sa akin and as you see dito and dito hindi nyo nakikita pero nandito siya may mga libro ako and tambak na siya so kanti pa lang yung nababasa ko dyan and hindi po ako bookworm though marami akong libro siguro addict lang akong pumiling libro so magkaiba yun pero sayang naman kung hindi natin babasahin so wag nyo akong gagayahin na tinatambak na yung libro pero promise babasahin ko yan anyway is let's start how to be become a habit yung reading so let's start how to make reading a habit for non bookworms so first surround yourself with people na gustong gustong magbasa or mga bookworms influence and uh, as for me talagang na mabigyan lang ako ng impartation ng pagbabasa ng libro hindi po talaga ako mahilig magbasa ng libro I hate reading so ang nangyari yung mga kasama ko sa church they are buying books so they are buying books and then ayun bumili din ako bumili din ako and ayun uh, hindi ko siya nabasa for a month pero nasayangan ako kasi that's money eh. binili ko eh 80 pesos lang yun anyways maligit na libro lang siya tapos uh, maginama ko din binasa ko siya in just one week and the discovery ko sa sarili ko na mabilis pala ako magbasa ng libro akalain mo mabilis na sa akin yun yung maliit na libro is packet book and then uh, natapos ko siya ng one week so mabilis na para sa akin yun and number two is start from small so nagkataon lang na nag start ako or napabili ako ng small packet book pero syempre let's begin small steps muna baka bumili kayo ng sobrang pagkakapal kapal na this ko hindi pa kayo nakaka lahati bagot na bagot na kayo kasi nga hindi pa kayo ganun ka indulge in reading hindi pa kayo ganun uh, yun, kahumaling sa pagbabasa so let's start small steps but first before that hanapin mo muna yung genre na para sa'yo or na gusto mo or anything na uh, need mo Okay, so maybe it's a part of your career, ba? mga financial analysts, kasi yun, mga financial for papayaman, uh, making a business, entrepreneurship, or sa mga kasamahan mo sa church, kasi yun, leadership, church leadership, Christian books, mga kilalang author, and if mahilig, uh, hindi pala mahilig, pero gusto mo mga novel, mahaba talaga, why not, di ba? And some others do in this in packet books kasi why not it's a reading habit so dahil binili mo ayan go na 
Anyways, next, make a goal. So, number three, make a goal. So, anong goal yung gagawin ko? Just challenge yourself. What am I doing is, naghanap ako ng books na, for example, seven day or one week and then one chapter. After nun, tapos ko na yung libro. So, mahirap naman na mag karoon ka ng goal na ang dami-daming chapter sabi mo one week lang so hindi mo alam hindi definite kasi hindi mo alam per chapter kung gaano kahaba per chapter nga ayun diba ulit-ulit tayo <laughs> anyways ayun so first ito is seven chapter so it's divine direction ni Craig Rochelle ayun so hindi ko alam kung tama ba yung pronunciation seven chapters cha So, by the way, it's not sponsored of any publishing or any bookstore or any author. So, hindi po siya sponsored. So, ginagamit ko lang siya. Ayan, para pakita sa inyo how to make a goal. So, one chapter a day, seven days, tapos ang libro. And, next, so, may, may kli lang naman to, di ba? Malalaking fun. <laughs> Malalaking fun. Kapag pinaliit mo, siguro liit yun libro. And next is 21 day challenge. So 21 day, siguro marami sa inyo ah uh, tawag doon. Yung alam yung 21 it takes 21 times repeatedly to make something a habit. So tama ba yung mga sinabi ko? Anyways, hala na kayo. <laughs> Search mo na Google niyo gusto yun. Ayan, so ito, it's Knowing God by J.R. Packer. J.R. Packer. Packer ba? Ayan, J.R. Packer. And, ayan. So, it's 22 chapters, pero bonus na lang yung isa kasi wala akong mahanap na 21 chapters. So, 22 chapters siya. Pero, why not? Kasi 21. Tapos, natapos mo yung 21. May isa pa. Huli na. So, why not? Diba? Exciting yon. Anyways, there are many things or many searchable uh, ideas the, uh, theories and you know practice how to make reading a habit for us non-bookworms lalong lalo na kapag nag-start ka pa lang lalong lalo na kapag uh, yung mga libro na nakikita mo is hindi mo alam kung kilig mo ba talaga so why not why not try and ayun So, mag-umpisa ka muna, manghiram ka muna kung ayaw mag-invest. So, siguro doon mo lang ibabalik mo. At, much better kung bumili ka. Kasi, masasayangan ka. Di ba? Masasayangan ka kung binili mo yun. Kung hindi ka talaga. Or, nagbit ka talaga sa pera. Di ba? Anyways, so that's what I did personally. And not, I'm not imposing it to be effective for all. But, it might be effective for some. So, ayun, guys. Uh, right here. Ayan, so, reading books. Doon na tayo sa kapag nagbabasa na kayo. Make, siguro it's better to make it a solitude time or mag-isa lang kayo. You read books uh, in a coffee shop or kung saan walang istorbo or walang social media when you are reading shut off your social media that is why hindi ko uh, ayoko nung ebook kasi nagnonotif gusto ko airplane mode kaso nga lang madadamay pati yung text messages pati yung mga ano so off notif talaga lahat off notif talaga lahat so reading kaso nga lang gusto ko talaga yung alam mo yun nabubuklat mo siya. <laughs> nabubuklat mo siya. And, ayan. So, some of my books are, uh, nabibili lang siya sa book sale. Ayan. Nabibili lang siya sa book sale. Tapos, ayan, mga second hand books. Some of my books are second hand, which is sulit na sulit na sulit to invest. And, most, Lee. So, siguro mga 55% 55% are second hand and 45% are 
sale ibig sabihin cut off for example Manila International Book Fair ayan so sobrang mabibili mo lang siya 100 pesos 2 for 5 uh, 2 for 100 ayan so it's super sulit talaga but remember it's not the price it's not anything that make the book really relevant to you it's the content so choose wisely what are the intake that you would want to apply in your life because that's a book so that's learning that's knowledge that's wisdom so ikaw bahala. it's your choice <laughs> but as for me i'm collecting these books and i will be making bookshelves so Siguro sa mga susunod na video, the story behind those books, the story behind my back, kung bakit kanyan yan, and everything. So, see you again. So, ayun, that's it. Reading books for non-bookworms. See you again. Bye.